Here are some general and Git improvements of the Eclipse IDE 2019-12. Improvements that have been added since the last release in September three months ago. The former Quick Access Input field at the top right has become Find Actions, a magnifying glass icon. The Find Actions dialog can be opened either by clicking on the magnifying glass or, as before, via the shortcut Ctrl-3. Since it is now a real dialog, it can be moved and resized. By changing the height, you can control the number of proposals. Find Actions now also shows files found by name. In addition to this open resource feature, Quick Search has also been integrated into Find Actions to find and open text files containing what you're looking for. There is another neat new feature, but that has to be activated first. In Window, Preferences, General, Editors, Text Editors, Code Minings can be enabled to display full problem messages above the corresponding lines. This works for different kinds of text editors. For instance, in the XML editor, or here as well in the Markdown editor. For the Java editor, in addition to the text editor preferences, code minings have to be enabled. There is another new text editor preference. If spaces for tabs are configured for the tab key, there is now a corresponding option to remove the same number of spaces via backspace or delete at once. Tab, tab, backspace, backspace. Or tab, tab, moving cursor to the beginning, delete, delete. By default, in the console view, control characters are not interpreted to make sure no previous output will be overridden. However, when backspace and carriage return are used, for example for progress indicators, like the spinners in this Windows batch sample, this looks odd. For such cases, the interpretation of these two control characters can be enabled. In Windows, Preferences, Run Debug Console by clicking the Interpret ASCII Control Characters checkbox. This is what the same output with interpreted control characters looks like. Much better, isn't it? The interpretation of the carriage return character can be set separately with the checkbox below. There are a couple of smaller UI improvements. For example, the perspective switcher, by default to the right of the find actions, has been redesigned. The reduced height reduces the overall height of the main toolbar. The view menu icon has been redesigned too. The triangle has become three dots. The dark theme has also been polished, for example by using less different colors in some places and a darker background in all search fields. As you can see in Window, Preferences, Install Update, Available Software Sites, the latest Eclipse release is enabled by default. From now on you will be asked if you want to upgrade as soon as a new release is available. Let's get to the Git improvements. In the History view, the button to switch between Current Branch and all branches has been extended by a pull-down menu. Via this menu, you can choose which branches and tags should be filtered. For example, to show everything except remote stuff. Or, if there are many branches and tags, it might be handy to limit the shown commits to the current and to another branch. For that, you have to specify the other branch in the Configure Ref Filters dialog. Click Add 
and enter the filter pattern. Select Head and the new filter and click OK. Voila! Only commits of these both branches are shown. Or, when disabling Head, only the commits of the specified branch. In the Git Repositories view, repositories can be grouped into folders. Select the repositories to be grouped. In the View menu, choose Create a Repository Group and enter the folder name. Repositories can be moved into and out of groups via drag and drop. Previously, when using an authenticated proxy, it was not possible to access repositories via HTTP or via HTTPS. To make this work even with a proxy with authentication, Apache HTTP is now used. In case of problems, in Window, Preferences, Team, Git, you can switch back to the previously used Java built-in HTTP client. Git has become even faster in Eclipse. By default, pulling is now done in parallel. Git config files are accessed far less frequently than before, and when switching to another branch, only files actually modified will be refreshed. When doing the same in the previous release, in contrast, you will see in the status bar Building Workspace for a short moment. With larger repositories, the differences might be even more visible. These were some of the general and Git improvements of the quarterly rolling release December 2019. The Java improvements, including built-in Java 13 support and Postfix completion, are shown in a separate video. Thanks for watching and happy coding!